Hey all you cool cats and kittens. If anybody out there knows how to text Lavana and let her know that I just went live on Facebook, that would be lovely. I see somebody feeding Cameron and he was roaring and I was trying to get this live feed up so that you guys could hear him roaring. So my fingers are freezing even though I've cut the finger tip off <laughs> so that I can use my fingers on the screens. Oh good, I can see your comments. Oh, that was a good girl. There's Mama Becky. What have you been up to today, Becky? I just got here a little while ago. I stop and get some special stuff for the cami, right? You're the only vegetarian I know who spends all of their spare change at the meat counter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not a full vegetarian. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Working towards it. Oh, he's a good boy. He is eating well. Cheating, but it works. Hey. Was that a bad piece? <laughs> Making faces at me? Hey. How about this? Hey. How can you like the turkey drums? That's turkey breast. It's so much easier to chew. He looks like a sharpe. <laughs> he does look like sharpe. They were just asking, what kind of cat is that? <laughs> this is a male lion who has been neutered, and when you neuter them, they lose their mane, so they look like a female lion. But he's an old lion, and he's a skinny lion, so he doesn't look much like a lion at all. He lives in here with Dabu. And that's why they're fixed, is because we don't believe in breeding exotic cats for life in cages. And she's awful fluffy. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's why she's not getting snacks. Some of the cats, like Cameron, who are real poor doers, get to eat more than once a day to try and keep some weight on them. And some of them are on evening meds, so that's why Becky's out here handing out evening meds and snacks. Saying, show us Sabu, show us Sabu. If you're new to this channel, one thing you may not know is that the only way you get that white coat color is through inbreeding, which is a very bad thing. It can cause things like cleft palates, or they can be born with their spinal cord open to the air, um, club feet, usually they're cross eyed. Karen, thank you for donating. They have a lot of health issues when they've been inbred to be white tigers, so it's a really horrible thing anytime you see a white tiger or white lion or white serval, king cheetahs, all of those cats are inbred to create those fancy coat colors because people like to gawk at unusual things, and this does not occur naturally in the wild unless you've got a very inbred pocket of cats. Hello, me of us. I'm Cindy.
Deb, if you're watching, I have my socks on. <laughs> <laughs> what are on your socks? I, I couldn't see. I was looking through the thing here. Christmas cats. Oh, Christmas cats. <laughs> I gotta zoom in on that. I got them from Deb. Thank Deb you, Deb. Me. And Deb is watching. She just posted a link to Sabu. <laughs> This morning? Yeah, I think he ate about four pounds this morning. That's good. I spent the day teaching myself how to use Final Cut Pro. It's what Afton uses, and I've always used iMovie because it's like the dumbed down version of Final Cut Pro, but it won't edit these films anymore, and I know a lot of you guys can't watch on Facebook because you have jobs that don't allow you to be on when we're on. So I tried to post them over at YouTube, but I haven't been able to do that very religiously because iMovie's given me so much trouble. So today I took three of the other previous walkabouts from January 3rd and January 5th, edited them, edited them together, and it's it says it's posting, so <laughs> we shall see if on our daily Big Cat YouTube channel, which is our secondary channel, whether or not that shows up. I sure hope so. Where'd you go, Cam? He went around the den. Where'd you go? You want to have some more pork? No, boo boo. You just get love. You just get love. You don't get no snacks. I know. You like snacks better. I know. Craig, usually they eat more when it's cold. Yeah. And thank you very much for donating. We have the most stubborn lions. <laughs> as soon as you came back this way, Kim's around behind you. <laughs> yeah, but he, he'll turn around. If I get close to him, he'll just ignore me. You guys are being mean to Mama Did Becky. Yeah, he ate one of the thighs. He ate the turkey drum, he ate some pork, and a couple pieces of red. Oh. I tried a piece of turkey breast and he just went, bleh. Cam. Come here. Hey. I hear Loki got some extra hay. He did. <laughs> People always ask, how do you guys keep the cats warm? He did. We also put a bunch in for perfection last night too, but what that did was make her go to the other den that actually has a heating pad in it. So now she's in the den with the heating pad. Oh, good. So I was like... Because she's protesting the she's hay. She's protesting the hay. I was like, well, whatever it takes to get you in the den with the heating pad in it, I'm happy about that. So do you want to protest? Protest away. Did she go back in there? Yeah, she's back in the one with the heating pad. You've been trying to get Stephanie, her to go in there for how long? Donated. I've been trying to get her to go in there for like a month now. For a month? It's been like for what, 15 years? <laughs> She would go in there when the heating pad wasn't she plugged would, in. She would, when there was hay in there, but we have to yeah. take the hay out when we plug the dens in. And so when I took the hay out and plugged the den in, then she was like, no, you messed with it. I'm not going back in there. <laughs> no, but it's full of hay. Yes. You know. Did you do Andre already? They're commenting on your cute hat. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I love that hat. I flashed my song. My hat? My hat's ridiculous. <laughs> I am so cold. Jerry, they usually do eat better when it's cold. Who do, who do you know? Andre? I have his pills in his food already. Oh. Well, then what did you hand me that was in there that had pills in it? Okay. I so put, his were in the thigh. Yes, I've already put his in there. There we go. And the turkey Oh, 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 I hear you over there. They're like, come on already, ladies. They're like, I'm Andre, I'm Andre. <laughs> <laughs> Lion tigers. Always a challenge. They got to get the food and the meds in and Andre. It's fun to separate these guys. And Amanda is right up front saying, No, pick me, pick me. And so it's Arthur. And as you could tell from looking at those two, they do not need any extra meals. Uh, the temperature currently in Tampa, Florida is. 
Yeah, we never pet the cats here, and there's several reasons for that. It is disrespectful. Because they're wild animals, and they would never allow us to do that in the wild. These guys, unfortunately, are in cages, because people would stupidly pay to have their pictures made with cubs, which means people will breed them for that purpose. Hi, bud. This is one way for you to get your meds. Just lock everybody else out. Right. That works. Sister and brother are busy over there barking at Becky. And then he didn't eat all his breakfast this morning, so he's getting a little extra. Make up for that. Big bowl extra there. Yeah. That's yummy. That's so yummy. Yeah, you pay attention to her. There we go. He's red. Got it. Marsha is correct. All of the keepers are volunteers. Sometimes well, Catherine is the staff member. She's the operations manager, but she does this kind of work as her volunteer time. It's fun for me to get out and see everybody. I've been in my office all day. Hey, Andre. doesn't do so well in the tongs. <laughs> it just goes everywhere. One more piece. Good job. They're asking if you put salt or seasoning on the meat, would they eat it more? I don't think so. I don't think they their taste buds are the same with ours when it comes to raw meat. I don't think seasoning would really help. When we do put something on it like uh, vitamin supplements or anything like that, um, they tend to not eat it as much because of the texture. They don't like it to be greeny on the outside. <laughs> That's it. You're all done. All done, bud. That was a pretty big snack. Susan, he's 22 years old, so if you were to multiply that by about six, that's roughly what he would be if he were a human. Good job. Good job. You two are relatively good. <laughs> relatively good. Right? You can't get there. Your door is down. Oh, somebody got a little snack. Yeah, we have cameras all over the place and we have a number of volunteers who live on the property. So um, <laughs> we had a uh, hearing in front of the county commissioners years ago when we were trying to put up our fence because you can only have a six foot high fence and we needed an eight foot high fence. 
and the commissioner said, let me get this straight. You want to put up an eight foot high fence so that criminals stay away from big cats. And we said, yes. And they said, how about we make the fence three feet? Whoa. Are you wanting to lick his lips? Or his lips all bloody? Oh, and you got one. You got one too. I got a bunch of treats. I wrote treats for everybody. <laughs> you can't share I love a treat. You. I love you so much. You can't share a treat. No biting. Hey. Don't bite your brother's ear. That's not nice. That's not nice. Not nice. <laughs> They're like five year olds. <laughs> they are like five year olds. He's down here feeding Joseph. Andre and Arthur. And Amanda. But that was Andre and Arthur right there that were right side by side. Levi, we absolutely agree that these guys belong in the wild. Unfortunately, if they've been born in a cage, they can never go free. There's a whole page about that at bigcatrescue.org slash go free. But you can help us, if you're a U.S. citizen, change the laws so that people can't breed them for life in prison. We would like to see every one of these cages empty. But these cages are far, far done. larger than what most other facilities, including most of the big zoos, offer them. Joseph Lyon has about 3,600 square feet, which is three times what my house is. And then across the street here is our vacation rotation enclosure. And it's two and a half acres. And each of our big cats gets a two-week vacation out there. Gabrielle's on vacation right now, but I don't see her. She was over by the bar door earlier. I see a keeper down there, so she might be talking to a keeper at the far end. I was trying to see if she was by that person. anybody get completely up on that hammock yet. Have you? Yeah. Is it blue? Yeah, Duchess did that. <laughs> I got some great She's video. She's one day and she moves it. She rearranges the furniture. <laughs> 
Jamie drove by. She's like, where's the hammock? Well, <laughs> she saw this drug way back there. Yesterday, Kali put her Christmas tree in her new pool. <laughs> we had to get it out. <laughs> oh, man. These cats. So, <laughs> Catherine had to go all the way around the outside of Joe's enclosure so that she can get over to reach Zeus. And I'm going to be quiet while she's feeding Zeus because he's very social. I'm hooking him over to the sound of my voice and we need him on her side. <laughs> 